Hey, welcome to the Film Pigs on Geek Nation. Now, yeah. there is a movie coming out about cannibals starring Keanu Reeves and Jim Carrey. What? And we all know that's the only movie what? anyone cares about anymore. But we have to talk about other things because other things are coming out this weekend. So I'm gonna, we're going to move on. Uh, I'm your host this week, Todd Anderson. This is fellow Film Pig Steve Skelton. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> that's... That's other fellow film pig Steve Fall. There you go. So so happy. And back for the third time on Film Pigs, this is our special guest, Betsy Beitler. Yeah. Betsy Beitler, Betsy yeah. Beitler, Betsy Beitler. Back and it's exciting, and that means it's time to toast popcorn. Oh my God! Yeah, toast. Wow, I I'm so glad I got here for the beginning of the show. Hi, hey guys. Oh, congratulations, hearty congratulations. What are you talking about? What's going on? It's your 200th show. It's the 200th Film Pigs. I've been keeping track at home. Every time an episode posts, I put a little check mark on the wall, and we're up to 200. So congratulations! Oh, shit. It's Is he right? I, I, oh, I, my I goodness. assume so. I, I, I don't know. You didn't know. do anything for your 200. We didn't do anything no. special. We didn't we know. We have right. no idea. Mm. Okay, you I'm on it. We're going to get, we're gonna get people to talk about their memories of film pigs. Oh, my God. That's oh, great. I'm on it. I'll go get people. How I know a lot gonna... of people. I know people who love the show. Trust me. We're gonna roll on this. Okay. Like, Congratulations. Okay. Oh, well, what are we doing like, in the interim? Like what, what should we do? What should we do? Who loves this show? Uh, right. Rashes? I honestly do don't rash, know. Should we do rash Wait, judgments? Wait, you guys, you guys, ooh, calm down. We'll just do rash judgments. Okay. I have shit to do. Uh, okay. I'm okay. a working actor. I'm sorry. Actor. I'm, sorry. I mean, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not I'm with sorry. your story, okay. but I'm working. There are a lot of movies coming out this weekend in the theater, and how do you choose which one to go to? Who do you turn to? Critics? No, because they're a bunch of jerks. You yeah. turn to us because we're regular people like you who pay for the movies. We don't get them for free. We uh. don't. So uh, we'll just tell you what we think, uh, even though we haven't seen the movies, based on our own dickish opinions. Uh, Steve Falk, what's your ass judgment? Do you like magic? Uh-huh. I do. Do you like uh, sequels no one asked for? What? Yes! Of course. Do you like a bunch of men and one woman in a movie? <laughs> yeah, That's always. every movie. You're gonna love, and the film picks. Then you're gonna love, <laughs> now you can see me too. Again? Oh. What? Now you can see me again? It's just yeah, two. you can see him again. T O O. This is a, this is the, the this is the long-awaited sequel to the to the Magic Caper of 2012. It's about time. The Starring Magic Caper. Jesse Eisenberg and the Hulk. <laughs> Hulk Hogan. And Woody from Cheers. And uh, God, the guy who plays God. Um, Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Uh, uh, some lady Bonnie from Party Down on Stars. Some some guy. Some other guy. I love that. Oh, Harry <laughs> Potter, and they do they they do magic, but also they do heists. I guess I have no idea. Magic heist. Who's clamoring for this? I heard they're even going to make a third. It must be big in China. <laughs> I don't know. That Why would that be amazing. big in China? Two hundred episodes. My, yeah, okay. two hundred. There you go. My kid loves hi, it. Hi, now you hi, see me. Hi, Camden. Hi, hey, hey, hi. Camden? hi. I thought you were in New York. I know. I'm so What's sorry. Um, uh, Jay. Uh, James Berniak was outside and he. Berniak? Yeah, he Berniak. told me to cut to yeah. him in here. his last name and yeah, he's, like talk about. What were you um, doing outside? Um, here. Oh, I was just walking around. Oh, no, it's cool. I'll host so, something else. <laughs> oh, can I have that? Actually, thanks. Um, That's yeah. Amazing. So he said that we were supposed to talk about our memories, and yeah. then um, he told us to roll it. Oh, we're supposed to roll? roll? Yeah. That's unorthodox. That's we're not done with rash judgments. So but I guess, guess we, we can gotta roll. We can roll it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I'm going to go just, tell just, him. Yeah, just, just, I'm going to go, I'll go tell him yeah. to like, yeah. great. Hold Thank on. you, Cameron. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, you got okay. it. Okay. 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 And uh, then we were reviewing uh, North by Northwest, but we were also in North by Northwest because they were filming it. But instead of Cary Grant, it was Jan Michael Vincent from the 70s, and he was also my brother. Uh, and then I woke up because I dozed off during the shoot, and uh, it was a long night. So my favorite film pig memory was when I met them. I was at a yoga retreat at an ashram in India, and these three thugs came up to me, and I taekwondoed them. And then I looked at these pathetic three beings, and, and one with curly red hair coughed out, we just want you to be a film pig. And, 
And then I realized it was like a grown-up Annie and a <laughs> wannabe Jason Statham and Dr. Evil, and I wanted to be one of their team members. I've been a film pig ever since. Thanks, guys. Hello. I was just coming home from a commercial audition when uh, I saw this, it was in a sleazier part of Hollywood, when I saw this low-riding Plymouth station wagon heading towards me. I was immediately filled with fear and I looked and there were three disgusting looking men in the car and they were looking at me like I was quite frightened and uh, I flashed back to a, a movie I once saw where they, a woman was singing about whenever you're afraid, whistle a happy tune. So I, I started singing to myself. I couldn't think of, I never did learn how to whistle. So I started singing to myself, oh, Oklahoma, where the, and my fearful look must have changed because they did a, U-turn and came back towards me and uh, what I now know were the film pigs gave me a, another looking over and uh, saw that I wasn't afraid. So they moved on. Oh sure, I have a favorite episode of Film Pigs. It's the, uh, well, well those guys are funny, you know, they're good. And um, they don't really ever get those movie reviews very right. Uh, but I like popcorn and uh, I've never seen the show. Uh, unfortunately, the only memory I have uh, is Steve Skelton, and he never wore underwear under his clothes, which really isn't a big deal to anybody, but it was to me when we worked on the, the Dirty Dancing sketches, and uh, as baby he would wear the short white dresses and we would have to work on the lift, and uh, he has pubatia, pubatia? Uh, which I, I don't know what it is. It's uh, he's he's like a he's smooth like a like a like a baby seal down there. Um, but it's actually more like a like a hairless cat. It's fucking terrifying. Uh, and uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm just trying to forget that, and I just I just won't forget it. So my favorite memory. Um, I'm sorry. What show are we doing again? Is that film pigs. Film pigs. Yeah. I thought you guys said you were going to stop after 100 episodes. What's this shit? We, we didn't. You're just liars? You just kept going? It's inertia. Ridiculous. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> we're sorry. Oh, oh my uh, god, those were interesting was, memories. We are monsters. Wow. That was, I I'd guess. I've forgotten about a lot of that stuff. Yeah, what? I guess All of it. now we Pretty should. Much, yeah. I don't, I just relax, Steve. I guess we should continue with rash judgment. Well, yeah, rash you should just keep that going. Uh, Steve, uh, Skelton, what's your rash judgment? Hey, uh, everybody! Yeah. It's Warcraft! So angry. Oh, shit. Because oh, it's a movie that combines the two things everyone loves wars and crafts. <laughs> I like Michael's. Like and knitting? It's like, it, it's a show, that. it's a show from David Bowie's son who made some movies like Moon <laughs> and Source Code and now he's making this dumb cartoon. <laughs> I don't, it's a, it's a video game, it's World of Warcraft online if you guys do that and you're in your guild and you do, you, know, you do your guild I'm things. I'm in a guild. But, why, I don't, it's a bunch of cartoons and then a guy in a thing that, look, a costume that looks like a cartoon. I might be, I don't know if it's a cartoon costume, like Iron Man or not, I don't know. And then it's Warcraft and then, you know, Lord of the Rings. Okay. You really there, nailed that. There you have it. Skeleton's feelings about Warcraft are pretty clear. Now, I got some great footage, some fantastic memories of your show, just from people on the street. Everyone loves the show, so let's roll it. What's street? Oh, okay, Ro roll, it. Roll, roll it. it. roll it. So my favorite film pig's uh, memory is when they had a guest star named Clampy the Clamp, and Todd, for some reason, grew very fond of this clamp. 
named Clampy. We all were teasing him, this and the other, and as we were drinking more and more popcorn, Todd got more and more bitter and more defensive to the point where he really lost it. Clampy went missing, he freaked out, we looked everywhere, and we find Todd in the corner of the studio holding half of the clamp up to his face, singing, I clamp you, you clamp me, we're a happy clampily. <laughs> and it was at that moment that I realized this is one of the most professional sets I've ever been on. And that's why I keep coming back. Um, so, can you just tell me how I look really quick? You look great, Scott. So I look, um, I, who, who are the pigs again? Um, I was trying to remember. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was great. They were, they were really cool guys. Um, and we, we had like, we ate a lot of chips, drank some sodas. Um, yeah, I, I think it, I really remember having a really good time with those guys. Are they, are they still doing, are they still doing it? Yeah. Yeah, um, say hello if you see them. Um, yeah, they were, they were good guys. It was fun, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I came early to one of the shoots. And I remember I stopped outside and I, the door was a little jammed, but I, I, I threw my shoulder into it and I, I could hear the squealing. And I walked through the, the, the office. Again, the door was jammed. I called out, said, are you guys here? What's going on? And they couldn't hear. I, I pushed open the door and, and there they were, Steve and Steve and Todd, and each of them were taking turns on one of those pigs. And they were filming it. That's why they call it the film pigs. I didn't know that. And they, these hogs were big and they saw me and I didn't, and I, 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 I swear, I won't tell anybody, I won't tell anybody. And they said, go get them, Bessie. And they, the, the hogs just ran at me and jumped on top of me and I couldn't do anything. And I'm still dating one of the, the hogs now. I'm very gentle. Her name is Bessie, as I said. So I'll never forget that day. The day I found out the real reason it's called the film picks. Oh, film pigs, 200 episodes. I have a lot of great memories. Um, I remember the uh, spring break skit. That was amazing. There was the one where I was dying again and again. And of course, the one where I was uh, in a scene with Todd, who was playing Bill Cosby. That was very, very <laughs> exciting. But, you know, it's really impossible for me to nail down one memory. So I'm just going to do a quick, like, you know, slam memory word association film pigs, fiesta, fat. Funny, fast, fajita, food truck, film pigs. Okay, here's the thing. I don't know who these guys are. About a week ago, somebody grabbed me off the street and put a hood over my head and dragged me in here. Save me, help me, I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm in one of those hospital movies. It's terrifying. They dress up, they get weird. The ginger fro guy likes to cross dress in character, allegedly, call 911. I, I am so scared. Except I will say the ginger fro guy does a really good Bill Cosby impression. It's just spot on. But, but, but still, I mean, I need some help and I think they need some help too. I, uh, yeah, I met uh, Todd and, and the Stevens. I call them the Stevens. Uh, when they were in the police academy. Uh, I didn't get in. I failed the written exam. But uh, those guys were great. Um, they were later in, invited to leave because uh, some clothes went missing. I don't know. I don't know the whole story. But uh, 
uh, they had a very, after that, they had a very deep distrust of the LAPD and the, the studio system. Um, I know the show started in, in Todd's Oldsmobile Forenza. They would just drive around and just scream through a megaphone, uh, disparaging things about films. Um, but then uh, his insurance lapsed. And uh, I, I don't know how they ended up here. Something about an eviction. It's, it's spotty. Thank you. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I don't know wow. how James is coming up with so many great people There's just from off the street that There's wander around here in Van Nuys. I guess a lot of them are having work done on their cars. There's a lot of people. Or they need pot. Or they need pot or uh, microbrewed beer. I don't know. It's uh, it's amazing. I have a uh, math lab and my Elantra. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, Betsy. We, you've been here too long already. I apologize. No. Uh, why no, don't we do I mean, your last judgment? I'm really busy. Uh, no, you're right. Okay. Um, the Conjuring Two. Crazy. This kid gets conjured. <laughs> Who saw that coming? It's, um, you got Vera Bates Motel. Formiga. Departed. Yes. You got, um, you got Patrick, receding hairline, Fargo season Wilson. two. Thank you. Wilson. Yeah. Lake, yeah. Lakeview Terrace. I'm really good with names. Um, I referenced Lakeview Terrace. You know, I think, I think it looks amazing. This 11 year old girl is a 72 year old Cockney man. I'm an actor, I could do that, it's fine, whatever. But yeah, I will see the living shit out of this. And I recommend you do the same. Okay, wow, that was a glowing review from yeah. Betsy Beidler about- Alex. Memories. 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 Oh. Memories. James is memories. Memories. Okay. Memories. Oh, no. memories. 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 Oh. Should we roll it and, and take him to the hospital? It. Okay. Memories. Let's roll, roll, roll it. 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 James and ambulance. Memories. We'll roll it. I remember showing up here and they gave me a script and they said, read these lines. And I got in front of the green screen and, uh, and they said, say the line. And I said them. And, uh, and they said, great. You know? And then a week later, I looked at the thing, and, I, and it wasn't great. <laughs> they should have had me do a few more takes, get it better. But that's the film picks. My favorite film pick memory. Um, I had a really rough childhood, so it's not my worst memory, but... Uh, um, I, I came here and we were supposed to do a sketch for Strip Tease 2. And let me just start by saying Skelton was a perfect gentleman. And then, then folk showed up in the half shirt and showing the mail drift and it, let's just say it wasn't ideal. And then Todd, Big T, little odd. <laughs> Shows up bottomless. Not just naked, but bot bottomless. I will never be able to unsee that. I just I felt more like an inner city youth than than a co-ed just trying to put herself through law school. But <laughs> the statute of limitations is up and I figured fuck it. I'll host. Yay. 200. Yay. Uh, so, my favorite memory of the film pigs, I don't know if you guys actually know this, but I was actually in the audience when you shot the pilot. 
but but not the the first pilot, the second pilot. Remember after you guys tested it in Long Beach and it didn't do so well because like the chemistry wasn't right. It was like because it was like folk was like the heartbreaker and Todd was like the wacky transgender one, and then it was Gerard Depardieu was like the guy who ate all the cheese, and it just didn't work. And then you guys met Skelton, who was like the shy one who had just gotten released from prison, and the magic was just <laughs> perfect. And then the audience just loved it, and I was just like, this is gonna be such a big hit, and, and it was, and thank you so much. I was trying to think of what my favorite Film Pig's memory was, uh, and I rewatched some of the episodes. Um, I think that the, my favorite one is the one that I was on, because um, my hair looked really good. And I didn't really have a lot of knowledge of the movies. Um, so the guys made up for that. They wrote some things at the bottom, like these facts aren't true, um, which I thought was kind of cool for, for them to do that and kind of save, save my ass a little bit, because I had been drinking um, quite heavily and I didn't realize that it had hit me um, until we did the like popcorn and I spilled some of my drink on myself. And I also realized that I did these like strange hand things. And it, if it wasn't for the film pigs, um, I don't think I would have learned as much about myself. So thanks guys. I am janitor here, and I uh, was pushing broom one day when uh, one of the uh, film of pigs guys came up to me and, and asked me to be in one of their sketches. And uh, he said something about uh, they needed another bald guy and mentioned something about diversity. But I, I took the, uh, the, the film that we did and used it uh, for my reel. I now have a first look with f Netflix. <laughs> Thank you. You know, my favorite uh, film pig stuff is actually their older stuff. I, I mean, their, uh, their radio show that they did back in uh, 1903 to 1905. Not only were they able to predict the existence of film by their made-up film trailer reviews, but Todd did an original character called Bill Cosby that was so revolutionary that 30 years later in the 40s, a young African-American child born in Philadelphia changed his name to Bill Cosby and started doing Todd's character. And that's the Bill Cosby that we all know. Uh, of course, Todd did not give drugs uh, to girls to try to have sex with them. Uh, they gave drugs to him so that he wouldn't try. Holy mackerel! What a great bunch of memories! Right and that's our 200th episode! Hey, and that's Steve Skelton back there. Hi, oh, you can't yeah. see me because I'm tiny! <laughs> and that's Steve Fogg next to him. <laughs> I've been your host, Todd Anderson, and these are all our amazing guests who showed up and did this crazy nonsense for no reason <laughs> except that they love us. And we love them. Thank you very much, you guys. That's 200 yeah, episodes. 200. And until the 201st, our concession stand is closed mm. due to health code violations. Yeah. Bye, everybody! Bye! Bye. 200! Bye! Let's show them around. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Where's the, yeah, where's the saxophone? Special thanks to you too. That is so great. Thank you. Thank you. I think we can do better than you too. Cheers.